Hi, I'm Erin Marcus, former corporate executive turned entrepreneur and founder and CEO of Conquer Your Business. Welcome to the Ready Yet podcast. We're excited to bring you more than 100 episodes of interviews and insights designed to help entrepreneurs get the financial and emotional freedom they need in order to build a business and a life they're proud of. All right. Hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of the Ready Yet podcast today. I'm excited to share my guest journey, Andrew Chestnut. I love the the one difference that I know of your story. I know so many people are in corporate and then they jump off the cliff and they become an entrepreneur. You were part of an entrepreneurial and have been part of these amazing entrepreneurial successes and then branching out, which is a little bit of a different path and still an amazing path. Plus, I can personally vouch for your Korean barbecue cooking ability. <laughs> right? Still owe you a big thank you. We randomly <laughs> sat down, right? We randomly sat down and I randomly, I swear, I promise there was no forethought into this. I it said, randomly put me next to the grill. <laughs> <laughs> I said as far away from the little cooking section as I, where I couldn't possibly be required to do any of that. I promise that was completely serendipitous, but you did great. <laughs> great. That was a funny thing. That was an amazing was evening. evening. So oh, yeah. welcome and welcome. And before Thanks. we get in all the details, why don't you tell everyone a little more officially when you're not cooking Korean barbecue for me, what do you do? Absolutely. So after almost 20 years in the learning industry, I've decided to kind of get into a niche because niches are the big thing right now. And so one of the things I've loved doing, and this has been a huge part of my life for years, is telling stories. Like to the point that whenever my family sees me start a story, they get the look is just kind of how I call it, where it's like the look. Here they sort of check out, they're kind of doing the grocery <laughs> list, thinking about what it's like to make Korean barbecue, stuff like that. <laughs> exploring other planets, things like that. But I realized that the the one way to be happy in the world is doing something you're passionate about, that you're good at. And when you get that response out of your family, who's heard this a bunch of times, that might be something you want to think about. So for almost all of that 20 years, I've been creating presentations for a variety of different stuff, mostly in finance, mostly in FDA compliance, fun stuff like that. And I realized entrepreneurs have stories, every one of them. And we have these amazing stories of what we've had to overcome to get to where we're at. And I love hearing these stories. I literally could listen to podcasts all day of people kind of overcoming these things and getting to where they're at and this, the struggle that needs to happen to make that work. Yeah. And so I decided to take that storytelling side of things and the presentations, mix in a little bit of sales in there just to kind of, you know, get a little you know, ROI on it. A little outcome-based <laughs> language. <laughs> exactly, you know, you know, and, and come to the, 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 and create myself as a keynote architect is the word that I, I, I love like. it. I help people build keynotes and I do it based on stories. So that's one of the things we're really good at as humans is we have the ability to learn via stories and it's one of the most effective ways to learn. Think about when you were a kid and you were talking to your parents or your grandparents specifically, they were usually really good at that sort of thing. Think about that. Think about listening to those stories and how much you learned from that. Because the cool thing is when we have stories, our brain lights up. Our brain is very emotionally based. It's completely you know, emotionally based. Totally emotionally based. There's actually For some of us more than others. <laughs> exactly right. Right. <laughs> I know what it's like to be I'm happy, sad, and angry. Going through a moment with my mother. <laughs> You're just gonna have to. I'm going through a moment with my mother. Understood. So... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. 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 But you know, the funny thing is, this is what happens when your mom's a, a psychologist. Is the funny thing happens is there are brain cells that permeate our entire brain, both sides, front to back that light up when we hear stories, when we emotionally are attached to something. Using that is an incredibly powerful force to build not only a tribe around you, a tribe of evangelists, like people that will go out and preach right. and say all this stuff is great. Yo, you're awesome because they're emotionally attached to you. It's also a great way to sell. It's interesting. There's this way. So you've opened somebody up where they're not in this, you're just trying to sell me something moment. Right. There's no like, I want to hear what's going on. Yeah, there's no resistance. And it it sounds nefarious. It's not. You're so totally engaging that person that their shields are down. They're now actually listening to you. They're now actually. Well, and here's, you know, like you said, it's not nefarious. It's not manipulative. It's really about because true sales is how can I help solve a problem? And if the answer is I can't solve that problem, then that's a perfectly reasonable answer. And we have referrals to those people that we're not the right fit for. 
But the only way you're going to get to a point where you have a chance at all of figuring out if you're the right person to help someone solve their problem is to first connect with that person. Absolutely. It's a huge, it's an incredibly powerful point or it's an incredible powerful tool that you can use in that sales toolbox. And it's really interesting to watch that once you have that connection, it's fun. It's really a lot more fun way to do things. It, it's it's yeah. edifying to you. It's really, you know, it, it just, it, it's great. It's, it, that's all I can say. It's it fun. feels more it's, organic. It feels, awesome. it feels yeah. right. And, and the, and you've never heard this. So <laughs> the one insight of the secrets. best <laughs> insight secrets, one of the stories that I'm known for in my circle that I've told on stage in front of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people is about how I almost got killed by my Spanx underwear on the highway in Chicago during rush hour after leaving a mastermind that I had presented. Uh And it's to your point, I give that talk and people approach me in the hallway about and ask me, how can I help them? As opposed to the one percent hopeful return on your investment from a Facebook ad, just pitching a pitch, mm-hmm. like what makes more sense? And, there, and you know, I tell people this, and I tell my clients this all the time: is that we're really not doing anything a hundred percent novel. We have our own version of doing it. We might add something different into it. But if you really look at a lot of these people that are out there doing, you know, or pitching you, mm-hmm. a lot of it's not new. And right. What it is, is instead of following a specific thing, I want to follow NLP. Okay, great. NLP is good. But, you know, instead of following NLP, I want to follow so-and-so's version of this. I want to follow this person because I resonate with their story. You know, and a lot of the entrepreneurs, there was one, one of my clients was moved over to the U.S. twice illegally with his drug addicted mom and his brother. I mean, it was yeah, bad. Twice. <laughs> twice. Um, <laughs> and, exactly. Exactly. And because they had to, leave, they had to go back once because they didn't make it. Second time over, did it. And now 30, 32 companies, he's worth over 150 million. And that's a story. And he goes into this depth of here's how I started. You know, here's here's what I'm doing. And what you're doing, and he's, he's in real estate. There's a ton of people in real estate, but specifically, I want to hear it from him. I want to hear what he has to do because I resonate, right? Uh, well, not only resonate, I think to me, and again, the, the story is the only way you get to communicate this. There are the gurus out there, mm-hmm. Tony Robbins, Gary Vee, whatever guru you want to, and they have their place, 100%. And the truth of the matter is, while they can be inspirational, they can be motivational, the world that they came up in doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Things have changed that fast. But to a fourth grader, a fifth grader is really cool. Mm-hmm. I want to hear the story of the person three steps ahead of me. Because I can take that action. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And it, it's right. true. You know, it, there's there's different levels too. And and I guess that's, you know, that's the other side of it as well is, is that I, I want to vibe with this person that really, that is just getting up on their feet again and is totally yeah. able to do it. I heard a meme a while ago that basically said, I, I don't know if I was quoting this to you or somebody else. It's been one of those days where everything's kind of blurring. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, where somebody said that to start a business on y- yourself, with only you while you're learning everything to do it, while you're trying to live on the, the proceeds of that business is a crazy level of faith. And I think once you're three steps ahead of that, just people seeing that is-, is Yeah, there is a helpful. light, right? I want to know whatever I'm in, whatever is my new expansion, my new stretch, mm-hmm. it would be great to know that the light at the end of the tunnel is not a train. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Right>. Very, very <laughs> true. Because <laughs> sometimes it feels like it. Because sometimes, right? I had a friend of mine once say to me, oh, you like it out there on the thin branches, don't you? <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Those are fun. <laughs> There's sometimes I like to jump off that cliff and I'm going to build the parachute on the way down. <laughs> and then, right. You, well, and, you know, to your point, though, with your with the meme you saw, I equate entrepreneurship as falling off a cliff. You could jump or you could get pushed off. Yeah. But either way, you're on your way. And, and there's going to be times, especially at the top of it, where you're going to burn a hole in the ozone layer with what you're screaming, <laughs> <laughs> but, which is perfectly normal, which right. doesn't seem normal, but is. <laughs> and, yeah. Right. And who and the stories are how we connect. I mean, think about even just as simple as family get togethers. Mm-hmm. 
is an exchange of stories. Yeah. Right. When you're sitting around the holiday table, you're sharing stories. The best times I've ever had with my groups of friends, you're sitting around a table sharing stories. Why do we think our business should be any different? And most of the time we think it's this woo-woo thing and we think, oh, well, that's nice, but it's not effective. It's a hell of a lot more effective than a high-powered sales pitch, a yeah. lot more effective. And, and what you're doing is you're doing, you're doing, you're overcoming objections without even having the objections manifest. I mean, you're, we are about three steps ahead of anything that might go because now they're connected with you personally. And that's how we're designed to connect is personally. It's personally. And it makes sales a different conversation. It makes it a, what I call a confirmation conversation instead of a convincing conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's just, there's, there's a lot to it and I've seen it work so many times and I love, I love this part of things. You know, I love to write people's stories. It's funny when I work with clients, it's more like, hey, let's, let's chat. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Right. Let me ask We're you gonna have a talk. And I, I had one recently. It was funny. He's like, that's a really good question. I never thought about that. <laughs> and he's getting a lot out of the process because, you know, he's, now he's being asked questions and being asked to kind of go deeper into what he's been through. And it's like, you know, it can get to be this sort of interesting, fun, fun process. You know, I, I, I love doing it, you know? Yeah. Well, and I, the other thing about it that I've learned, the most successful entrepreneurs share themselves in their business. Yeah. And that you right what is your story of how why are you doing what you're doing not just the outcome you're trying to create mm -hmm. yeah as soon as somebody I, the biggest mistake you can make not the biggest there's tons of big huge mistakes you can make <laughs> one of the mistakes people make is what i call they put on their marketing hat mm. i'm gonna go do marketing now Right. I'm going to talk in my outcome based language and I'm going to create a sales page that goes through these four steps. Right. They put their marketing hat on and they lose themselves in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Without without remembering that one thing that's keeping us going, because as entrepreneurs, we have those things that kind of that it's that that core fundamental that we have. And that keeps I have a, a podcast that I'm launching called Hustle and Grind Podcast. And it's not like the hustle and grind is go, 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 go. It's we have a different level of passion for something. We are so passionate about it. I traded my nine to five into an 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> what do they say? Entrepreneurs are the only people who give up working 40 hours a week in order to work 70 hours a week. At least. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And it is but I just So I recorded a video today. It'll be out in a day or two. It'll be out by the time this hits on my evolution with the word easy. Hmm. And the final stage that I would invite people to look at is that easy doesn't mean it's not challenging or that there's not hard work to your point easy is it's easy for me to get up early and get off the couch because i'm just so damn motivated i can't wait to create this absolutely and that is create i mean that, that creation process i love it you know yeah yeah let's see what kind of cool stuff we can do with our friends <laughs> right exactly right like it's just playing in the sandbox right a hundred percent so i have to ask because i know your background i know you've been a <laughs> Part of amazing, amazing, high achieving entrepreneurial ventures. Yeah. And you can't, you know, no, none of us do this alone. So what made you want to leave that exciting situation and be like, you know what? The branches aren't thin enough because I'm not on the tip of the branch on the end, end, end. How could I get even further out? Like what made you decide it was time to throw your own hat in the ring, so to speak. Well, we had finally gotten to a point in the companies where things were on a holding pattern. Mm -hmm. Like I knew that we had gotten to a point where I could step back a little bit and things would run. And so what, ha what happened at that point is I just wanted to do it out of sheer chutzpah. <laughs> I just I, I into saw, the right audience. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw Let me see if I can pull this off. <laughs> exactly. I just want to see if I could do it. Right. And, and you know, I because I tend to be one of those fire ready aim types, you know, where it's just like, let's go do this thing. <laughs> and I had seen this work. I'd seen I I knew I had all of the tools to make it happen and the network to make it happen. Cause that was a huge part, is I had to build a good network. And so yeah, there just came a point when it's like, okay. I've helped you do all of this stuff. I have an immense amount of grat gratitude for all, everything that I've learned. So see if I can do it. I may do well. I may fail miserably, 
but let's go to let's go see. Let's let's, let's go jump off that higher cliff, and I'll figure let's out find a new that parachute on the way down. <laughs> right. Well, the other thing that you Absolutely. you're describing a perfect example of is I say all the time, like I talk to a lot of people who start their own business, and I think you we've seen this with the Great Resignation, and now as people are losing their jobs and not having jobs, there's a lot of people starting their own thing. And the one thing I've learned by watching this over and over and over again. If you're starting your entrepreneurial journey with a chip on your shoulder to prove a point, I'll show the man, I'll show the system. If there's any kind of pain that you're trying to alleviate, mm -hmm. not going to make it because as soon as that pain gets slightly alleviated, you'll stop. Yes. You're talking about the opposite. When, the, when you're running because of inspiration, yeah. right? There's no end point. None. And, and it, it comes from a completely different creative part of your soul, where instead of doing it just, I mean, I think that there is some merit to doing it. I'm going to do this to show you. <laughs> there are but definitely people that, and I've had my moments be. when that is yep, going. Absolutely. But I don't think that like, I agree with you though, it should not be the main impetus behind what you're doing. Yeah. Because is, you know, if you think about those two different things, what do you think is more creative? Just going from spite or going from, I want to go to cool shit with my friends, you know, right. I want to school stuff. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And it's a totally different world. And a lot of people think that entrepreneurship is just about go, go, go. And it's just about kind of grinding. And it's just about all these things. No, it's about creating cool shit with my friends. And that's the best way to do it. hundred percent. So yeah. if people want to create cool stuff with you and yeah. learn how you can help them craft their story and turn it into a keynote, which by the way, keynote is like one thing. There's a million places that you really, really need and that would benefit from being able to tell your story, being able to tell a story in your entire business. Well, I want to I ask your, your listeners to anyone, if you were asked to speak in an event tomorrow, would you be able to do it? I mean, would you be able to speak in an event tomorrow and feel confident that you knew what was going on? You know, and if you, so the, what I help people to do is to be able to create these presentations, to be able to go out. So that, that way, if you were asked tomorrow, you're like, okay, cool. Yep. You get 35 minutes or 40. Right. You want to check for 20 <laughs> minutes? You want me to check for an hour? You want to yeah, exactly. Like, hey, what do you, what do they need to know? hundred percent. It's my world changed when I was allowed to speak on someone else's stage. Mm-hmm. And I did a good job and I was prepared and all that. Like my world blew open when that opportunity became a reality. So but one of the things I teach people all the time, if you're going to be in the room, be at the front of the room. Absolutely. True story. True story. <laughs> you're going to be in the room, be at the front of the room. That's all. Oh. Well, it's the 10x principle. It's, it's like, if you're going to do something, do it. I mean, do why it. why invest two times at it? Invest 10 times at it. It's not that big of a jump. Just go do, right? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So how it. do people find you and learn more about how you can help them do this? Learn more about you. I know you've got your podcast going yeah. and bringing great stories to the foreground. So how do they find you? And so a couple of things. So Instagram, Andrew, my last name is spelled C-H-E-S-N-U-T-T, -T, just because my family was a little bit sadistic in the past years and decided to spell it just wrong enough. Just, right. just a little wrong. <laughs> just different enough. <laughs> I know who's detail oriented and who's not. Uh, but you can find me on Instagram. You can also find me at my website, NickelCityLearningSolutions.com. And the website's going to, or the uh, podcast is going to be dropping here. My first episode's coming out in a couple of weeks. It's called the Hustle and Grind Podcast. If you find the one about knife making, they're really cool, but that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> the only so it's, good to, it's always good information to know <laughs> sounds kind of cool i've listened to a couple of episodes they're actually kind of cool but not mine <laughs> so, but uh, you can also see that as well because part of this what this podcast is about is the hustle and grind what makes us as entrepreneurs do what we do and so you're going to hear stories from a, a wide variety of entrepreneurs from ones that are that are kind of, you know, like three steps ahead ish to some, some of the folks that I pulled from my network who are very, you know, who've already very, very successful 30, 40 years behind them in entrepreneurship and in serial entrepreneurs. So it's going to be a wide variety of people that you're going to hear. And you get to hear those stories. You get to hear what makes them tick and you get to hear what makes them really hustle and grind. Nice. Love it. We will make sure all those links are in the show notes. Appreciate that. Make it easy awesome. for everyone. Thank you for spending time with me. You know, I love chatting with you. I love your energy. I love your passion. Like, you can't replace that. Mm -hmm. And I think 
it's something that a lot of people are really striving to have more of. So yeah. thank you for sharing yours with me. Absolutely. And thank you so much for having me. This was a lot of fun. I really appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ready Yet podcast. I truly enjoy bringing these stories of success and inspiration to you. Please join us in our mission to empower entrepreneurs to be in charge of their businesses and in charge of their lives by sharing this with anyone you know who would benefit from our tactical and motivating advice, leaving us a review, and letting us know if there are any particular topics you would really appreciate hearing about. See you next time.